Tucked away in a southeast D.C. neighborhood is what looks like any other home in Anacostia. We needed a larger space. But this one is specifically for those who are lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgender. Come home. This is your home. Ruby Corrado says it'll be run by her resource center, Casa Ruby, and a few partner organizations providing mental health services, drug and violence prevention, employment, or simply a safe space. Many gay people, gay, lesbian, bisexual, and trans people have to leave Southeast because people were not ready. Not ready to accept those who are LGBT, forcing them out of this neighborhood for help, especially black men and women. You're considered weak. Like Bella Mune, who's transgender. I left home at 13 because I told my mom I was gay, and she was like, oh, get this demon out this house. And I was like, okay. That left Bella navigating these streets and transitioning with the wrong crowd. <laughs> uh, I looked for comfort in other places. So I had a lot of boyfriends, a lot of boyfriends. Bella was also on drugs, in rehab, jail, and nearly killed. But the gun was jammed, so I was like, oh my God. Ruby says this location was chosen because there are no quality services for gay and trans people east of the river. You should not have to leave this part of town to go to Northwest to access services so you become somebody in life. Adding to the problems and trauma, there's an increase in deadly violence in Southeast, and the LGBT community is still rattled by a number of attacks this year, including the murder of two transgender women not too far away from this home. It's a lot of trauma out here, a lot. This new home is also symbolic. Ruby wants to make sure LGBT people are visible, not in hiding, to educate the community and those still struggling to understand. I'm Lorenzo Hall, WUSA 9.